Welcome to our lecture online. Our next video here has to do with the definition of set and element. A set is composed of elements, so elements are something that makes up a set. Elements sometimes are also called members, and each element is typically an outcome of a possible event, something that may happen, and so the outcome of that is an element. An element then makes up a set, so there may be multiple outcomes, therefore there are multiple elements in a set. A set is usually denoted by capital letters. So, for simplicity, let's say that we have two sets, A and B. The set A has elements A, B, C, and D. They could be the answer to a multiple choice test. And then B has E, F, G, H. So what is the probability that the answer is A or B or C or D? That, that could be maybe one of the things we can look at. The way to describe it is that A is an element of A. So the small A is an element. And this is a symbol that means that it belongs to the set A. And here this means that A does not belong to the set B. You can see that A is not one of the possible outcomes and therefore does not belong to set B. And that's how we denote that. So this means that it belongs to A. This means that it does not belong to B. We can also write that both A and B belong to the set A. So a set can be defined in two ways. Either we can simply list out all the elements, just like we indicate here. So here we can indicate that this is set A, and those are the elements in A. We can simply list them out, or we can do that by describing what the contents of A are. So we can simply do a description of them. We can do it by the properties that they have. Maybe I can look for all the even numbers or something like that. In this case, maybe one way to describe A is A is uh, <clears throat> equal to the uh, first four letters of the alphabet. And so here it's simply by describing the contents of A. So the, the elements in A are simply the first four letters of the alphabet and everybody would then know that it means it's A, B, C, and D. So those are the different descriptions. So we're going to work a lot with sets and elements and so those are the basic descriptions of those.